you will not be able to remove a pebble from your life, one stone. If you take every one of your deeds from day one that you know yourself to today, khutbah, and you say, Rabbi, I ask you to remove my calamities, you will not be able to remove a pebble of stone. Isn't this a shame? Isn't this a city of sinful people? Aren't we a nation of shirk? We claim to be from the sunnah and we come in shirk, we sing boo boo. We claim to be from the sunnah and we kill the leaders and we kill everyone. We claim to be from the sunnah and we haven't got a clue as a definition for sunnah. Never mind on implementing the sunnah. Wallahi, I leave one kalam with you. I leave one more kalam with you. When you know, when you do your duties, Rabbul Alameen will raise you from the land and he will give you honor. Otherwise, Rabbul Alameen will humiliate and disgrace. Rabbul Alameen will humiliate and disgrace us. Why? We will remove them and we will bring a new generation because you don't deserve it. Lu'ina al-ladheena kafaru bimbani Israel. The people of Bani Israel were cursed. Why? We are angry, we oppress, and we only create, make mischief in the land. 
We prevent that which Allah is pleased about. And we create fitna in the land. Do you know what Hiraqu says when he heard the Muslims are doing these good qualities and they're winning? And his army, even though they had massive, major, tremendous amount of people, and they were loaded, you know what he says? He rockled. Sadaqta! Shabash! Well done! You have spoken well, O commander. You have spoken well. You are a people disgraceful. You commit crime. Today, when you watch the Muslims, what they do? Everyone is smoking. Everyone doesn't even look like a Muslim. And he has a whole load of galil. He presents you with books upon books. I can do this and I can do this. He backbites and he slanders. And he has a justification. He spills the blood of Fulan and Fulan. He doesn't know that the blood and the wealth and the honor of his Muslim brother is sacred. He doesn't even know. Never mind to implement it. So what's the kalam today? What's the nasiha of Allah? He spoke about so many things. What's the advice today? The advice today is all good deeds needs to be right. <coughs> so when we meet a calamity, we can say, Rabbi, I ask you to remove this calamity. And how do you get deeds? Good deeds? <laughs> how do you buy good deeds? How do you earn good deeds? You don't buy them in Tesco's and Morrison's. You don't buy them from takeaway and cafes and internet cafe. You read Akhlaqun Samawi, scripts from the heavens, understood by the Sahaba and the great Imams Abu Bakr, the great companions of Rasulullah, and the four Imams of Fiqh, and the scholars of Tafsir, Ibn Kathir, and Tabari, and Qurtubi. And the four Imams, that's where you get them from. You don't find them in a raffle ticket. Today, instead of we giving our people news from the sky, we give them sky news. You don't find, you don't find beauty in Islam in virgin media. You find it in the heart that is virgin. So my advice, we need to become serious. Otherwise, Rabbi Al-Alamin will be angry. Rabbul Alameen will be angry. Barakallahu alayhi wa lakum fi al-Qur'an al-Azim wa nafa'ahim wa yadu wa fihi min al-ayati wa dhikr al-Kiyyim. Aqulu ma tasma'u wa istaghfir al-Azim wa lakum wa li sa'il muslimin min kulli dhamil wa khutiyya wa istaghfiru inna kuhu wa tawakhu wa istaghfiru. Nidfa'a bil anfus fidwet illah dharaya wa kalbi al-lila ibil hammi yakwi مداوي فوق الغيمة الترايب من ذا الشباب اللي سالك سكة التيب فرض الوطن شب وشبوب الحرايب وقلب اللي له بالهم يكوي مداوي فوق الغيمة الترايب من ذا الشباب اللي سالك سكة التيب Oh,